to show you all this tutorial today because I'm going to be teaching you how to make this retro inspired two piece bathing suit. I love the way it turned out. I think it's so cute and I think it would be so flattering on all different body types. So I really hope y'all like it too. It's not a hard swimsuit to make honestly. Like this video is a little bit longer than my other tutorials because there are a lot of steps. But I try and break it down and make it as easy as possible so that everyone can learn to make this bathing suit. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel because when we hit 5,000 subscribers I'll be doing a big sewing giveaway which I think will be really fun too. So anyway let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and I hope y'all enjoy. To make this project you'll need one and a half to two yards of a swimwear fabric, three-fourths of a yard of a swimwear lining fabric, and a set of padding for the top. You'll also want a fitted tank top and a pair of swimsuit bottoms or even underwear for the templates. Measure your waist where you want the high waist bottoms to start, which was 34 inches for me. We're cutting out a half circle skirt first, so fold your fabric in half and then divide your waist by 3.14. I got about 10.8. Finally, subtract a half inch from your number, and my total was about 10.3. Begin measuring from the corner where the fabric was folded, and make a mark at the number you calculated, so my mark is at 10.3 inches. Swivel the tape measure from the corner to make more marks at that number, then connect them and cut along the curve to form the skirt's waist. Decide how long you want the skirt to be and add an inch for seam allowance. I wanted a 14 inch length, so I got 15 inches. Place your tape measure starting at the curved edge and make a mark at that number. Then keep measuring along the entire curve to create more marks, which again you'll connect and cut out. When you unfold the fabric, you'll have a half circle shape, but you'll need to fold it back together with right sides facing and pin and sew along the straight edge using a ballpoint needle. Unless I mention otherwise, you'll need to sew everything with a half inch seam allowance and a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch so that your seams will stretch when you stretch the fabric. Set the skirt aside and grab your tank top. Decide where on it you want the swimsuit top to be cut on your body and fold the bottom up to that point, then fold it in half down the center. Fold a small portion of your fabric over and make sure it will stretch this way. Lay the tank top down so that the folds line up and fold that strap down out of the way to create a rectangular shape which will pin down. Cut a half inch larger around all the edges for seam allowance, then remove the tank top and unfold the fabric. Cut out a second piece just like that, and then two more from your lining fabric. Cut out two 3 inch by 25 inch straps, which you'll fold and pin with right sides facing. Cut at an angle on one end of each of the straps so that the folded edge of the fabric is the part that's pointing outward, then sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving the short ends open to turn right side out. Lay one lining piece wrong side up and mark the very center with a pin. Decide how far you want your padding spaced apart and lay them down, measuring and centering them using that center point as a guide. I spaced mine two inches apart. Push on the padding to flatten it out a bit and pin it in several places, then sew right along the edges to secure them. This will keep the pads from bunching and shifting which really gets on my nerves. With the pads secure, flip your lining so that the right side faces up and lay the other lining on top with right sides together. Pin and sew along only one of the sides, then lay the two swim fabrics with right sides facing and sew just one side as well. Trim the seam allowances down to about a quarter of an inch so they're not so bulky. Open up the pieces so that the correct sides of both fabrics face up and grab your straps to position them on the front side of your swim fabric, which is this top right corner opposite the padded lining piece. And when you lay them down, make sure the seams on the straps face each other. 
To make sure they'll be evenly spaced when both sides are sewn, measure and pin the right strap 3 inches away from the unsewn side of the fabric, then measure and pin the left strap 2.5 inches away from that seam we sewed on the fabric, and this will ensure that once everything is sewn, both straps will be 2.5 inches away from the side seams. Then sew the straps down with a quarter inch seam allowance. Move the straps to the center of the fabric and flip your lining over so that the padding faces up. Lay it on top of your swim fabric so the right sides of both fabrics face each other. Match up those seams on the bottom of the lining and swim fabric and pin them together. Then repeat with the top seams before pinning the rest of the top and bottom edges together. Sew along the pinned portions, keeping the ends of the straps out of the way, and trim the seam allowance down to a quarter inch. Turn this tube so that it's right side out and lay it with the lining facing up. To sew those sides together so that you won't see any messy seam allowance, move the straps to the center and begin the process of turning the tube back inside out by wrapping one end around itself like I am here. Stop turning it once both of the sides line up together. Because of the way we turned it, the correct sides of your swim fabrics and lining fabrics face together and the seams line up, so pin both sets of seams together and then pin in a circular shape along the swim fabric and lining fabric. Once the edges are completely pinned, sew around that circular shape, but leave a 3 inch gap unsewn on the center of your lining. Slide that tube around the arm of your machine and begin sewing on the lining side, and then once you get back around to the lining again, stop sewing to leave that gap. Pull all of the fabric through that opening to turn the top right side out and you'll see that the sides are sewn together. Then sew along the edge of the opening to close it up. This is optional, but if your lining keeps peeking out from behind the swim fabric, you can stitch around the top and bottom edges with a stretch stitch to secure it. Just make sure to keep the lining hidden behind the swim fabric as you sew. I use this decorative looking stretch stitch for a cool detail. Cut out a 3 by 15 inch strip of fabric and fold and pin it with right sides facing. Cut the two ends at an angle and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving a small gap in the center to turn it right side out, then sew the gap closed. Pinch the center of your top and tie that strip around it to create a cute retro bow that holds the gathers in place and completes your top. Grab your bottoms, and because the front is cut smaller than the back, you'll need to fold and pin the extra fabric from the back out of the way to see the shape of the front, then fold them in half down the center. Fold a small portion of fabric over and lay the bottoms down so that the folds line up. Pin them in place and cut a half inch larger along the shape of the crotch, leg hole, and side. Then cut however much extra fabric you need to create the high waist bottoms. I cut mine 4 inches higher to get my high waist. Now that the front is cut out, remove all the pins to see the shape of the back of your bottoms, which you'll fold in half. Fold more fabric over, pin the bottoms down, and cut a half inch larger on all sides, and the same amount extra needed on the top for the high waist, and you've got the back cut out. Use the front and back as a guide to cut out a set from your lining fabric. Lay the bottoms together with right sides facing, and pin and sew along the crotch seam, then repeat with the lining. Open up the bottoms so that the correct side faces up and lay the lining on top so that right sides face together. Match up and pin together the two crotch seams and then pin and sew along the curves of the leg holes. Trim the seam allowances down to a quarter inch and turn the bottoms right side out and lay them with the lining facing up. To sew the sides together, match up the seams on the front and back of one side of your bottoms and pin them together with right sides facing. Grab the linings from that side and bring them together and pin along the edge.
bring the swim fabrics together from that side also and pin them. Now that one side is pinned, go to the opposite side and repeat the process. So match up and pin the seams together from this side, pin the linings together, and pin the swim fabrics together. Sew along both pinned edges to join the sides and trim your seam allowances down like usual. When you turn your bottoms right side out, you'll see that you have a lined pair of swim bottoms. Subtract a half inch from your waist measurement and cut out a waistband measuring that number long by 5 inches wide. Fold it in half right sides together and sew the two short ends, then trim down the seam allowance. Flip it right side out and then fold the waistband in half. And you'll see that it's slightly smaller than your bottom so that it keeps everything snug around you. Measure to find the center of your bottoms and place a pin on the center of the back to mark that point. Then lay your skirt out so that the seam is positioned on the center back. Wrap it around the bottoms so that the waists line up. You'll need to flip the waistband around so that the folded edge is facing down and position its seam on the center back. Wrap it around the waist of your skirt and bottoms so that all the raw edges line up, then match up the center back pin you put on the bottoms to the seam on your skirt and line up the seam on the waistband to those points. Pin all the layers together at this center back point. Pin frequently around the rest of the waist, and since your waistband is slightly smaller than the other pieces, you may have to stretch it just slightly as you pin to disperse the fabric evenly around the waist. And really take your time since you're pinning five layers of fabric together so that everything is lined up and pinned evenly. Sew around the waist to join the pieces, and as I sewed, there were a few times where I had to pull on the waistband just barely so that it laid flat with the other layers as I sewed. You'll want to check often to make sure all five layers are being sewn, because at one point I realized I missed a couple of layers and had to start over, so take your time. Once all the pieces are attached, flip the waistband upright. The final step is to hem the bottom edge, so turn the skirt so that the wrong side of the fabric is facing up, and fold the bottom edge over twice, a quarter inch at a time, and pin it down. Continue double folding and pinning around the entire bottom edge, and sew the hem down. For this, I used the same decorative stretch stitch I used around the top, and now your swimsuit is completely done, so wear it with pride and confidence in your work and yourself. Thank you for watching. You have what? a fan coming. Oh my gosh, a duck. <laughs> quack, quack. Or a little bit of duck. So many bit. Blah, blah. To make by any means, 